Have you ever wondered what it's like to fly the most giant aircraft in the world? A plane that weighs tons of kilos and is longer than a football field. We're talking about the C-5 Galaxy, America's giant military bird in the sky. Before we continue with this exciting video, please like it and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Picture machines longer than Olympic swimming pools, heavier than colossal tanks, and towering over five-story buildings, yet taking to the skies with an almost poetic grace. How does the U.S. military manage such a marvel? And what's the story behind the largest aircraft in the world? Let's find out today. In the world of aviation, where planes have wingspans like football fields, and carry payloads heavier than blue whales. Watching a massive aircraft defy gravity is truly mesmerizing. The C-5 Galaxy leads the way in this airborne marvel. The C-5 Galaxy is a special plane known as the largest aircraft routinely operated by the US military. The C-5 is a testament to the marvels of engineering, with a payload capacity of almost 135 tons. Imagine all that weight in the sky. This enormous military machine is proof of human ingenuity and the unwavering drive to push boundaries. This plane was created to carry oversized equipment used by the US Navy, Army, and Air Force. So how much equipment can it actually carry? Imagine this mammoth machine with a cargo hold spacious enough to cradle two M1 Abrams tanks, 16 Humvees, or a fleet of Black Hawks. We're sure your mind must be boggled with this piece of information. A true workhorse, the C-5 can traverse over 7,000 miles without refueling, earning its title as the longest-range military airlifter globally. The C-5 is an incredible machine, larger than even an Airbus A380 Superjumbo in terms of dimensions. Okay, still can't wrap your head around its size. Here's another interesting fact. The Galaxy is such a colossal beast that it doesn't quite play nice with many hangars. The Air Force has to create space by drilling a hole in the sliding doors so that the enormous whale-like tail can fit in. Other times? Well, it just lounges around outside, soaking up the sky like the oversized superstar it is. But it's not just about size. The C-5 Galaxy is a living testament to decades of service, embodying the strength and majesty of the United States Air Force. As Air Force historian John Leland puts it, the C-5 symbolizes the power that has kept America's armed forces well supplied in the most remote corners of the Earth for over half a century. So how did it all begin? The C-5's journey began with a unique mission in the 1960s to transport an entire U.S. Army division, including the formidable M60 main battle tank, across the globe. Yes, you heard that right, and that gave rise to a battle. Lockheed, Boeing, and Douglas engaged in a fierce competition, with Lockheed ultimately winning the contract to build the massive cargo planes. The USF welcomed the first C-5A into its fleet on December 17, 1969, and the aircraft took on its initial mission during the following summer. The C-5A was the initial version and emerged as a groundbreaking aircraft capable of carrying an astounding 250,000 pounds over 3,200 miles unrefueled. Around the year 2000, the Air Force decided to modernize 52 of its C-5s and retire the rest. This effort resulted in the creation of the C-5M Super Galaxy, expected to stay in service until 2040. In the summer of 1968, the skies bore witness to the birth of a colossal force. The first C-5 Galaxy took flight on June 30th. Its wings would soon carry it across the vast expanse of the Pacific, embarking on a trans-Pacific journey from California to Southeast Asia, answering the call of duty in the tumultuous days of the Vietnam War. The pivotal year of 1973 saw the C-5s becoming the backbone of Operation Nickel Grass, an emergency airlift of supplies to Israel following a surprise attack by its Arab neighbors. Remarkably, within a mere 10 hours of the operation's commencement, the first C-5 was airborne delivering a staggering 194,000 pounds of crucial supplies. Over the course of 145 sorties, the C-5 fleet airlifted a monumental total of 21,600,000 pounds, including vital resources such as tanks and helicopters, into the struggling nation. The C-5's influence went beyond the Vietnam War as its cargo-carrying wings plied the strategic terrain of the Cold War. An annual pilgrimage to Europe for NATO exercises showcased the aircraft's versatility. Then, in the pivotal year of 1990, 
the C-5 played a crucial role in Operation Desert Shield, supporting efforts to defend Saudi Arabia from the looming threat of Saddam Hussein's Iraq. In the subsequent months, these colossal planes were instrumental in the buildup that culminated in Operation Desert Storm, marking the liberation of Kuwait. Together, these two campaigns etched their place in history, forming the largest airlift ever witnessed. In each chapter of its storied journey, the C-5 Galaxy proved to be more than just an aircraft. It was a lifeline, a symbol of resilience, and a beacon of hope in the face of adversity. But how does a plane of this size carry such a heavy load? Despite its immense size, the C-5's design facilitates surprisingly efficient cargo handling. The iconic hinged nose, nicknamed the Knight's Visor, allows for easy access to the cargo hold, where ground crews secure vehicles for flight. There are two openings in the aircraft, one at the nose and one at the back. This is to facilitate faster on and off loading and create a larger opening to fit large cargo. You must be wondering, in the event that the aircraft has a front opening, what would happen to the flight deck? Well, the ingenious design of the aircraft has a special movable visor that swings open above the flight deck without disturbing the crew. It takes about 45 seconds to one minute for the visor to open completely. The visor is 20 feet in diameter, which facilitates easier loading. The aircraft demonstrates its versatility with its ability to land on unprepared airfields and its hydraulic system that allows cargo to be offloaded at truck bed height. The forward flight deck in the plane can seat a crew of six people along with a relief crew of seven and has room for eight additional people. For the crew's comfort during longer missions, there are two bunk rooms and a lavatory. According to the pilots of the C-5 Galaxy, what sets this aircraft apart from the rest of the military planes is its sheer size and its capacity to carry more troops and cargo than any other aircraft. One other feature that sets the pilots of the C-5 apart is that they have two sets of throttles instead of the typical one set that is shared by the pilot and co-pilot. Landing and taking off an aircraft is another challenging task that pilots are trained for. The pilot's center of gravity is shifted forward and backward by the size of the aircraft, so they require specialized training to operate it. Oh, and did you know that the C-5s are specially modified to fit satellites and missiles? In 1974, something extraordinary happened with Aircraft 014 and a massive 43-ton Minuteman 1 missile. Normally, these missiles were launched from silos in the Midwest, but the Air Force had a wild idea. What if we could launch them from an airplane? Unlike a fixed silo, an airplane flying over the U.S. seemed much safer. On October 24, 1974, at 20,000 feet over the Pacific Ocean, 014 took on a daring mission. It opened its rear cargo door, revealing the huge Minuteman 1 missile. As the missile gracefully slid out, the aircraft shook, feeling like dumping a wheelbarrow full of water, according to the crew. A parachute slowed the missile down before its rocket motors ignited, shooting it high into the clouds. The C-5 Galaxy didn't just do ordinary missions, it played a crucial role in top-secret programs too. The world's first stealth aircraft, the Have Blue demo plane, was airlifted from California to Nevada in the dead of night. The C-5 could carry the entire plane without taking it apart. It did the same for F-117A Nighthawk stealth fighters, the first ones ever, flown secretly from California to Nevada. The C-5 had a big dream that never happened. The L-500, a civilian plane for 844 passengers, much more than today's Airbus A380. But it was too expensive for regular flights, and ironically, the Boeing 747, its rival in the military market, beat it in the civilian world. Even though it didn't become a commercial hit, the C-5 Galaxy is still flying strong, marking 50 years since its first flight. It's not the biggest plane anymore but 56 C-5s are still in the air. Many got upgrades to the C-5M version with new engines making them more powerful and fuel efficient. Now they symbolize the strength of the US military. The C-5M Super Galaxy plans to stay in action until at least 2040. Who knows what comes after that? Maybe something even bigger than a galaxy. Do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We will see you with another exciting video soon.